Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Brandon. When we set out to design the Storm 1200X, we wanted to lay the foundation for all future storm lights as well. So the task in creating Blair was not to just create a more efficient white light engine, but one that more closely matches natural light, whether it's sunlight or a classic incandescent light bulb. A true tunable white light engine. Yeah, we truly believe that it's not just about output, it's also about making scenes look as close to real life as humanly possible. We spent years researching real daylight and real tungsten. And I think I found a way to illustrate this challenge in the simplest terms with advanced modern technology. You ready? Sure. Uh, is that laundry detergent? Now, before you say anything, keep in mind that this illustrates a common phenomenon present in lots of things, fluorescence. To explain this concept, I washed this cloth with plain water as a control, and the other using laundry detergent. Under a standard bicolor LED light, both look the same. However, if we look at them under real daylight, check out that color shift. Both the camera and to the eye, they look totally different. The cloth washing detergent appears cleaner or brighter than the other, which is noticeably yellower and a little bit more dull. So why is this happening? Well, optical brighteners or clear fluorescent dyes found in many fabric detergents convert the hard to see black light wavelengths present in natural light into bright blue wavelengths. It's like white balancing physical objects. Chemical engineers have designed these dyes to make common everyday objects. Paper, plastic, printed inks appear brighter and more vivid, but it's not just an artificial phenomenon. This special indigo diode flashlight illustrates how some materials can fluoresce. Lots of natural objects fluoresce, including your teeth, your skin, your eyes, your fingernails, etc. Without these indigo and near UV wavelengths in your light source, you can never fully match natural light in your images. Traditional LEDs can perform great with the color of normal objects, but color metrics like CRI or even TM30 can't predict the impact of fluorescence on color. So this is why clothing and people can sometimes appear a little off when photographed under traditional LEDs, even with those with strong color metrics. Spectral Similarity Index, or SSI, is really the only metric that can indicate this. In other fixtures, like the Electrostorm CS15, we boosted SSI values by adding indigo emitters to the LED chipset. Then we took it further with the Blair light engine and added even more indigo energy to better match real daylight and real tungsten. To illustrate this further, earlier today, we photographed models with different lights. We first shot using this daylight setup, and then matched the light using a Storm 1200X with our Blair light engine, and then a typical bicolor LED. As you can see, only the spectrum changes between the shots. As indicated by both TM30 and CRI scores, most objects in frame have the same color. but with the Storm 1200X, the result is a much closer match to natural light. Now the Storm 1200X features another advancement, not just in the spectrum, but also in the color of white light and how it's defined. The sun is a natural black body emitter, but as it filters through Earth's atmosphere, the spectrum of the light shifts slightly green on average by DUV 0.0032, slightly less than 1 8 plus green gel. CIE, the International Color Standards Body, standardized this concept with CIE Daylight, a tunable daylight spectrum for CCTs above 4000 Kelvin. Basically, there are two white light standards that cameras expect, black body and CIE Daylight. Black body defines the color temperature of the light, and CIE Daylight defines the daylight spectrum and color above 4000 Kelvin. Right, so here's where lighting gets complicated. Many LED lights follow black body while fewer target CIE Daylight. So in the Storm 1200X, we give you the choice. And speaking of matching existing lights, the Storm 1200X's Blair light engine allows it to achieve next level tint control. For decades, we used gels to adjust our green magenta shift from full plus green to full minus green and everything in between. Unfortunately, these gels had limitations because the dyes would tend to also shift the CCT. Now, thankfully, the American Society of Cinematographers MITC Lighting Committee has also provided a common sense spectral and DUV calculation method for full plus green to full minus green without the CCT shift. 
and that's what Aperture has incorporated into the Storm 1200X. Accurate full plus to full minus green tunability with control in 1% increments, finer than the minimum strength for color correction gels, which is 1 8 Blair provides a full range of adjustability to match whichever light source you might encounter, with the ease of use and standards that filmmakers are already familiar with. And finally, the functionality that everybody is always asking us for. First, here's the Storm 1200X at maximum output. And now, here's the minimum output. The Storm 1200X has amazing dimming capabilities. It can dim eight times lower than other lights with the same maximum brightness. It even gets dimmer than an equivalent tungsten bulb. And the Storm 1200X does this while maintaining its excellent white light color quality. This enormous achievement is built on years of research and development by our team. So that's the science behind the Blair light engine. It matches how natural light affects different objects, including human beings. It gives a choice between matching daylight and matching other light fixtures. Provides a huge range of plus minus green percentage adjustment using industry standard controls and offers incredible low end dimming while maintaining color accuracy. We put a lot of work, including multiple iterations of light engine design, into making Blair the technology that would give our users the most accurate, tunable white light fixture in the form of the Storm 1200X.